Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next part in my series uh, for dialing in for our Line 6 Helix. One of the biggest requests I've had, I think, since I started this series um, was to do a Joe Bonamassa style preset, um, which is a funny one because he's known for using so uh, much uh, in the way of different gear, different guitars, right? Les Pauls, 335, Strats, depending on, uh, you know, which band he's playing with, uh, and depending on the situation, sometimes he's doing his, his blues thing and more rock blues, depending. Lately, he's been known to be playing more Fender Tweed amps. In the past, he's played Marshalls, you know, so it was a, it was a tricky one to come up with. But I mean, the one thing is, when thinking about a Joe Bonamassa style tone, I think of like a really creamy singing overdrive, right? Something that's fairly smooth. Um, a lot of times, you know, very little between the amp and the guitar, uh, maybe a couple pedals, a wah, you know, overdrive. I mean, there's probably times where he's played more than that. But so instead of this time diving in and trying to take a particular song of his and recreate a particular tone, I figured I would just sort of do something in the style of him, but I'm going to do kind of a two for one. I thought I'm going to do one using more of a Fender Tweed style amp and one with more of a Marshall Plexi style amp and see if I can come up with something. So these aren't meant to be exactly a Bonham. This is more like if I had to play some Bonham Assa stuff, uh, what tone would I come up with on my own? So that's kind of what this is and I hope you guys like it and I hope you find that it's kind of close. I'm playing it through my power cab and my studio monitors. It sounds really good through both. I'm planning on doing a video a little later in kind of over a Joe Bonham Assa style um, backing track to use these as solo over just so you can kind of hear what they sound like but I'll see when I get the time to get that done but anyways um let's dive in and see the presets that I came up with here uh let's go over to HX edit the first one was Bonamassa Tweed and then I have one over here Bonamassa Plexi so let's look at the Tweed first I think it's been since around 2014 or 2015 he really switched over to playing a lot of Fender Tweed amps so I went with the Tweed Blues Norm which is a model of an old basement so what I've done here, again, uh, I got my normal LA Studio comp at the end, a little bit of EQ, uh, low cut at 70 hertz, high cut at 11 and a half kilohertz, and a bump with a, uh, at 170 hertz with a Q of 1.9 of 2 dB, and a tiny bit uh, of 450 hertz with a Q of 1.4 pulled out at minus 1.5. Small moves just to fatten it up and clean up a little bit of the mud. For the Tweed one, I went with a 63 spring verb, uh, decay of four, a uh, mix of about 24. I do have three snapshots here. I have just the amp. I have the amp with a Klon or the Minotaur before it, and then the Klon plus a delay. And I also have a wah pedal that we can switch on, which is just the Faisal wah, which is the Crybaby model, but just as it is stock when it comes up. I didn't change it at all. It sounded really good. <clears throat> okay. So what have I done with the amp here? Well, first of, of all, I have my split crossover at 650 Hertz. And I've boosted everything above 650 hertz by 3 dB, and everything below it has stayed the same. The cab I'm using is a 410 Tweed P10R uh, with a 160 ribbon at a distance of 2. Uh, I believe that's actually what comes up stock when you pull up the, um, the Tweed Blues Norm. So I don't think I touched that, I just kept that normal. Now with the amp, what I did is I just cranked the drive. So I have the drive up at 10. The bass is at 6.9 on the amp snapshot, but when I go to the Klon and the Klon with delay, I crank that bass up to 10, okay, to give it a little bit more beef. I found it was a little, it sounded great with the Klon on with the bass up to 10, but with the amp, it was a little bit too boomy. So um, everything else, mid is on 10 all the time, treble's on zero, presence on five, okay, really to try to get that smoothness into the sound. Uh, master up to 10. I also brought the SAG up to 7.5. I believe it was at 5.5 uh, stock, but I just wanted it to kind of have a little bit more of that SAG to it. So I brought that up to seven, uh, maybe like a bit of a squishiness to it. So I brought the SAG up to 7.5. Now that's with um, everything else off, the distortion, the, the wah, uh, and the delay. So Here's what that sounded like, just as is with the amp, and what I figured kind of had a Bonamassa quality to it for the, uh, the tweed. Thank you. 
So it had a really nice quality to that sound. I really like that. It's just the amp just cranked up. Now the reason I went slightly bright on it is because I know Joe likes to play with his tone and his volume a lot, right? So I'm not doing a clean snapshot on this. Nice thing about this is if I roll my tone back, All the way down. That might be a little much, but if I bring it up a little bit, all the way up. So we have that ability if we're playing this to play with our tone knob to kind of take the edge off of that. It also cleans up nice if I back my volume off. Right, bring that back in. All right, so what happens when I go to Snapshot 2? Well, I bring the Klon in now, okay? Uh, otherwise known as the Minotaur, with a fairly heavy gain up to eight and the tone way down to two, level at 5.4, and that gives us this. Now that's a, a Joe Bonamassa riff I, a riff I think off of one of his last albums. I don't even think I'm playing it correct. I think he was tuned different. But anyway, just to get the point across, right? Again, we can use our tone control. Okay, so really nice tone there. And then all I do with the third snapshot is bring a delay into it, which is one of my favorites, transistor tape, set fairly mild, a mix of 20, feedback of 18. Again, we can use our tone control. Down some more. Also threw in, like I said, the Crybaby Wah uh, stomp model. which I thought worked really nice for that. So that is basically the Bonamassa Tweed preset that I came up with. Now, for some of his earlier stuff, he was known for using some Marshalls. I think he used like a Silver Jubilee sometimes, but I wasn't really too concerned with uh, what he exactly was using because I didn't think we would necessarily even have the model 
in the Helix. What I did do is went with what I thought, from my experience with the Plexi models we have, would be the best one. And in my experience, the Brit Trim Norm is a really nice, sort of smooth sounding Plexi model in here. So what I did with that is I kept a lot of everything the same uh, as the Tweed setting, the same uh, LA Studio Comp settings. I believe pretty much the same EQ settings as we had. I went with a room reverb rather than a spring with a decay of 5.4 pre-delay of 11 milliseconds, mix of three, uh, 35%. Uh, same delay settings uh, and a same three snapshots, amp, clon, and then clon delay. Uh, the cab, uh, sorry, the split uh, crossover was still 650 hertz plus three uh, on top end and zero on the bottom. The cab was a 412 greenback 25. 121 ribbon mic pulled six inches back. I had the Klon with the same settings and the same wah settings as well for when we want to engage that. Now on the amp, again, I cranked this up. Normal drive up to 10, bass at 3.4, mid at 7.5, treble at 10, presence at 10, which is a little odd, but this amp needs it to, to, to not be too, um, or lack too much cut, right? It's a very smooth sounding amp, I find. Channel volume 7.1, master at 10, and the deeper controls I don't think I touched. So that sounds like this, uh, and it's gonna have a very different sound <clears throat> than the tweed we just had. Again, you might say, well, maybe it's a little bitey, but again, we want to be able to use that tone control. or even maybe go to our neck position. Tone control down a bit. And again, this is gonna clean up quite nicely, right? So a lot of tones that are disposal with our, our, our volume knob and our tone control. Again, now this kind of comes to life when we switch over to adding the clon in with it. It gets really creamy and nice, I find. Again, we can use our tone control. Give it a little bit more creaminess to it. Nice tone there, I was liking that a lot. And again, you know, cleans up nice. Even with the clon on, right? Works really beautifully. 
Now, uh, the next snapshot, I just added the same delay to it again. Uh, roll the tone back a bit. All the way back. So really nice stuff there. And again, um, I can add in the wah. which seems to work really nice as well. So I was really enjoying both of those tones, very different. Again, here's the uh, tweed version. Plexi version. So depending on what you like, there's two pretty cool tones there. We've got the tweed, which has that, you know, sort of normal fender kind of nastiness in the top end. But still kind of smooth, you know, it still has a nice smoothness to it and then the, the much smoother plexi sound. That was dropped. All right, so anyways, I hope you guys like those. I hope those are Bonamassa-esque enough. Like I said, again, I'm not trying to pass these off as being, you know, like I dialed in any particular Joe Bonamassa uh, song or tone from a song. This was just more me playing with these amp models and trying to get something like I think or feel as close to what I've heard Joe play on, on a lot of YouTube clips or on his live DVDs or his albums and, you know, so don't go comparing it exactly to his tone, but I think if you were gonna, be after something that was Bona Massa esque, these would get you a good starting point. Again, different guitar, different monitoring system, it's all gonna be different, and different players, you know, it's all gonna sound different. So hopefully it's a good starting point for some of you guys to be able to dive in and have something that's gonna sound good through your system. So let me know how it works out for you, and I hope you guys enjoy the tones. I'll have these up on custom tones soon. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please like and share the video if you haven't uh, or if you can. And if you haven't subscribed already, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thanks again and ciao for now. We'll talk soon.